guys, it's that time of the day. What did the Trump say? Did the Trump say? I don't remember if last time you were on the show, Kells, if you actually played this game or not, but this game is designed for you to try to guess the word that Donald Trump is saying. Um, and it's because he fumbles over a lot of stuff. Um, and we're going to try to guess the word, okay? So uh, here we go. Deliberate. Ooh. Do we want to hear it again? Yeah, Clark. I didn't catch that. Here Deliberate. we go. It was like celebrate. Hmm. Celebrate. Liberate. Liberate. Right. Oh, no, he said you will agree. Hmm. And dance a re. Damn, no, the iteration. Uh, Dex, you might be right. Hmm. Alabria. Darren hmm. saying deliberately. Eric is saying delivery. Hmm. Hmm. Delivery does sound good, too. I don't know. Delivery. I guess that's the point of this. We never know. That little monkey call at the end is killing me. Ooh, ooh, that, that, ooh. Delivery. <laughs> <laughs> All right, final guess is Kels. What's your final guess? Honestly, I really, because it happened so quick. Like, <laughs> unmute or something like that. So I don't know what it's saying. All right, <laughs> All right what's your guess, Dex? Uh, you will agree. You will. Oh, you will agree. That's the sentence. Okay, Thank Ty, you. what's your guess? I'm going to say the liberal. He's always talking about those liberals. Okay. Last chance. Liberate. Liberate. Uh -oh. Maybe it's been so bad that when he, when you play the whole thing, it's nothing like a sentence. It's just like a. <laughs> no, it still don't make sense. And then he all corrects. Right. Here we go. Final guesses. You all are wrong. So I'm asking for the liberate. Well, think of it. I'm asking for the Libertarian Party's endorsement, or at least lots of your votes, lots and lots of Libertarian. <laughs> now, now, Jason, you know he was nowhere near that. Look, he said it. I didn't say anything. <laughs> liber, liber, very high to get to that. Libertarian word. is what he was trying to say. Yeah, he Sounded just built. Sounded up. up. <laughs> he said, ooh, "Ooh, I know." I, he said, "I know." I messed that one up. <laughs> but that's what he does now. He like. That's what I said before. I'm like, he's saying nothing near the word, but he'll yeah. stop. <laughs> Just stop and yeah. abandon it. Again. Regroup. Yeah. And <laughs> start over. Yeah. Oh, gosh. All right. Uh, more on Trump. This week in Trump. This week in Trump. This week in Trump. This week in Trump. The former president is once again making uh, headlines. It's time for not a rally or a political statement this time he's selling his private jet seems like his legal battles are taking him on a turbulent financial journey the jet was once dubbed trump force one has been the symbol of his lifestyle but looks like it's time for a crash landing facing le mounting legal bills trump has sold this to a mega mega donor for 10 million dollars around um and if it, it appears trump is in need of the money as his finances are in a bit of a nosedive. Selling the jet is seen as an effort to raise cash quickly, but it also raises eyebrows about just how deep in the red President Trump might, former, I should say, President Trump, might be uh, flying <laughs> in. <laughs> former to you. <laughs> no, former to all of us, okay? So to make that clear, <laughs> let's not start any of that. You know, people going to be hopping on us. Y'all say he's the president. As part of his three days off from court, he also spent one of them crashing the Libertarian National Convention in hopes of winning them over. It did not go well. We must work together. Combine with us. You have to combine with us. We cannot give crooked Joe Biden four more years. We cannot give crooked Joe Biden four more years. You must combine with us. No! He said he just said four more years, which is actually admitting that Joe Biden beat him. This is oh, the first okay. time he's ever admitted that. Oh, breaking news. Should, should I play the sound? You probably. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not gonna do it. All right. Uh he tried again. That's nice. Listen to those boos as soon as it comes in. Like this is right after he said the first thing. That's nice. That's nice. 
Only if you want to win. Only if you want to win. Maybe you don't want to win. Maybe you don't want to win. Thank you, D-Roy. Thank you. No, only do that if you want to win. If you want to lose, don't do that. Keep getting you 3% every four years. <laughs> He's so nasty. <laughs> he is a nasty man. I keep getting your four percent, your three or four percent every four years. And then he tried one more time to ask. Now I think you should nominate me or at least vote for me, and we should win together. <laughs> you see that smile? How did he get booed down? I was just left. <laughs> right, they're booing so hard. <laughs> or at least start like insulting them to be at least funny. Like you just said, he there, did. He tried to. He said, if you want to get your little three percent, like, calling them ugly and stuff. <laughs> he had to point somebody out in the crowd that's real ugly and like yeah, go in on them like like the comedians do. Well, he was trying to win them over. But like, why no, did they show up though? If if they knew he was going to be speaking there, to well, because them? it was their national convention, and like I guess it's part of the final night. They decided to bring Trump on to try to see if he could bridge the gap. Now, why would you do that? <laughs> Trump will that. never bridge the gap of anything. <laughs> I would not think that. They were booing the hell out of him. So hard. <laughs> he should go yeah. to an HBCU next, see how that works out. Mm -mm. Yeah, well, you, you saw when he went to Chick-fil-A. They was having a parade for him. I was say, they liked it, but they also they went to Atlanta, too. So. You know, they have to be nice. Yeah. It's like part of their training. The they play for those people, though. <laughs> Trump is back in court um, this week for the final days of his hush money case. Experts expect Trump to be found guilty um, ultimately in this uh, <laughs> in this conviction. Or also there could be a chance at a hung jury, they say. But even if Trump is found guilty, experts say it's unlikely that he'll face any real jail time, maybe a, a few days at the most. So, um, you know, Trump is nearing the final days of that first hush money trial. Um, does it matter whether or not he gets jail time? Because they say even if he does get jail time, it won't be before November. So does it really matter? You know, it's disappointing to me, though, overall, that like Trump has been tied up in a trial and Joe Biden has not taken this as an opportunity to campaign. Like you've been chilling, sleeping, as you usual, know, sleeping while Trump is in a trial. Like you literally had an unfair advantage and you didn't even take advantage of it. He's also mm -hmm. dodging all that war stuff. So, you know, he's, you know, he's got a lot on his plate. I don't think the time is right for Biden because they're just going to shot him down. Free but you're you going to have to address it eventually, so you might as well address it now. Like while Trump is doing what he's doing, we'll see. 